Week 13 following the solo artist curriculum was the beginning of Term 2, which starts with the anatomy of the head. The main study recommendation for this unit is Marco Bucci's course Understanding and Painting the Head, which can be purchased as a digital download in his Gumroad store for 30 US dollars. I wasn't sure I wanted to get the course, so I started exploring some free resources. I found a three hour video by Steve Houston in the New Masters Academy YouTube channel. The video is called How to Draw the Head and it shows how to build the head with simple shapes and how to build some variation, uh, rotate the head and some proportion, different views. It's a truly excellent video. The three hours make just the first portion of a bigger lecture series that is available as a paid module in the New Masters Academy site. I went through the first two hours and a bit of the YouTube course and I decided to check the resources listed in the curriculum page and noticed that this new Masters Academy course is recommended strongly after a better understanding of the head was acquired. So I decided to follow the curriculum and go to Marco Bucci's course before trying to move to the other materials. That's when I found that this course is also available on Skillshare and that they offer a seven day trial. So I went for that. I did not find Bucci's course to be more beginner friendly than Houston's at all, in all honesty. The course uses the Asaro's head and photographs to present a broken down structure of the planes of the head. And uh, will just really assemble the face as a whole later in the course. So we start with the brow and then move to the cheek, the cheekbone or the zygomatic bone, rhythms that we find in the cheeks, then connect with this with the jaw, chin, the underside of the face, and uh, then moves to the features, which it tries to sometimes construct from simple shapes, like simple boxy shapes. We see mouth, quite a bit about the ear, the eyes. Again, starting from a tilted rectangle and then building up to all the planes and the, the roundness of the eyes. And after we watched all those parts, then there's a chapter for the assembly in which we start seeing some proportion and uh, other things. And only in the last class of the series, we see the study recommendations and how we should actually approach the course, which was slightly confusing for me. There was a lot of watching time for me and some note taking more so than drawing. So not a whole lot of uh, proper training. So after I finished with Bucci's course, I Googled some images from Asaro's head online and then I drew a few of them in different angles both working with the simple and the most complex side of the faces and I also went ahead to look into more resources and found some particularly good videos online. There's Alex Honeycats, who's also known as Radio Runner and was the person that put together the solo artist curriculum. And he has a video in which he recommends some exercises with the SRO head and also Michael Hampton's book, which I have and I have already used for the first figure drawing unit. So I got the book out for next week study and uh, better yet, in the Buskin Art channel, there's a video, How to Master Light and Shadow, the Asaru Head Explained, in which he shares the link of a 3D model of the Asaru Head. The model is by William Nguyen, also gonna have the link for it here, which can be used to study the Asaru Head in different positions and with different lights as well. So this is what I plan to work on next week to get more into a drawing study time rather than watching others draw time. I hope those resources are useful to you too. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.